ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. The war between the states had ended, but in some sections of the country, the bitterness engendered by years of strife had not yet passed. Such a community was Mintonville, where men who had bled for the Union cause were constantly at odds with the settlers from the battle-ripped Confederate states. The two leaders of the Northern faction were Hilton McCabe and Jess Chase. Jess? Hilton? Hope you boys didn't come in to buy anything. I'm awful comfortable right here. <laughs> <laughs> Stay put, Proctor. All we want is a little advice. Oh, oh, fine, fine. Rest yourselves. Busy buddy like me is never really happy unless he's nosed into somebody else's business. <laughs> You joke about it all you like, Proctor, but actually, I don't know how this town would ever get along without you. Sure. Even the Southerners pay attention to what you have to say. That's because I got such a sweet disposition. <laughs> What's on your mind, boys? Uh, well, I, uh... Hilton here has a crazy idea I hope you can talk him out of. What is this fool idea? I'm thinking of paying a call on Longstreet Turner. Young Turner, the leader of the Southerners? Yeah. Gonna gun him? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, what I have in mind is a peace talk. I figured that under the circumstances, his group and ours ought to forget our differences for a while. How long is a while? Until we clean up the town. Seems like every day another cafe or gambling hall opens up here in Mintonville. Me, I figure that cleaning up the town is a job for the sheriff's office. Deputy Watts can't do much without the solid backing of the ranchers and townspeople. Of course, the greatcoats won't act with us, and... Well, I guess our side has been a little stubborn-minded, too. But I don't see how a tea and crumpet visit with Longstreet Turner is going to change all that. Do you, Proctor? No, I don't. Furthermore, you may run into a rebel bullet. I know these Southerners, Hilton. Of course, I have to pretend to be friendly with them just to keep peace in the town, but I know they're still bitter. Well, you heard, Proctor. Now will you give up this crazy notion? No. I've always followed your advice, Proctor, the same as everybody else in town. But this is one time I think you're wrong. Where are you headed? To my buckboard. I'm going to drive out and talk things over with Longstreet Turner right now. You know, you fellas have names for the Southerners. You know what they call you? What? Mule heads. Sometimes I think they're right. You think I ought to go with him? No. Uh, no, no, I, I, I just drop in at the sheriff's office next door and tell Deputy Watts I want to see him. I'll suggest to him that he hightail it out to young Turner's place to keep trouble from brewing. Well, that's a good idea. I've never seen it to fail, Proctor. You always seem to know just what to do. <laughs> to do this time, too. Come here, Deputy. Me not, Deputy. Oh. What do you want, Injun? Me need some supplies. Well, I tell you, you better come back later. The fellow I have to talk to in private is on his way in here now. Me wait outside. Good. Chase said you wanted to see me. Yeah, got an errand for you. Well, that's something I've been meaning to talk to you about, Proctor. Now that I'm in charge of the sheriff's office, I can't come running every time you whistle. Not that I wouldn't like to, but I just don't have the time. <laughs> Keeping busy, are you? Ah, well, you know how it is. Sure. <laughs> come here. What was that for? For not remembering who figured out the way for you to kill Sheriff Kinderman without arousing suspicion for not remembering who maneuvered you into his job, for not remembering who to thank for that fat bank account you've got in Kansas City. Oh, I'm grateful, Proctor, you know that. Then come around when I whistle. Sure. What do you want to see me about? Hilton McCabe is on his way out to a peace powwow with young Turner. They're going to discuss ways of cleaning up this town. Well, how come you weren't able to talk him out of it? Well, I tried to, but for once he wouldn't listen. You don't suppose he found out that you own all the cafes and gambling halls? Well, I don't see how he could, except for the store all my property is recorded under dummy names. If the Northerners and the Southerners ever get together, it means an end to the easy pickings we've been having. They're not going to get together. McCabe is driving a buckboard. By taking the back trail, you can beat him to young Turner's with plenty of time to spare. What'll I do when I get there? Kill McCabe. 
And do it in such a way that you can arrest young Turner for the murder. That'll stir up both sides and they'll forget all about cleaning up this town. Exactly. And I aim to keep them stirred up, too. Just leave everything to me. Deputy. Yeah? How are you planning to do this job? Young Turner packs a different caliber weapon. If you use your gun, you'll never make a murder charge stick. Yeah, that's right. I never thought of that. Here, you self-important clown. You're supposed to be an expert with knives. Use that. Sure, Proctor. Whatever you say. What can I do for you? Let me have a list of supplies. Young Turner did his best to make him comfortable, but his efforts were in vain. Hilton McCabe? Looks like I got here a little too late. I didn't kill him, Deputy. No? <laughs> then who did? I don't know. You don't believe me, do you? What I think doesn't matter. But you'd better have an explanation for the 12 good men and true. This case is never going to reach a jury. As soon as the Northerners find out McCabe's been killed, they'll start hollering for a lynching. You should have thought of that before you knifed him. How do you know it was a knife, Watts? Almost seems like you might have been here when it happened. Well, I just took it for granted you used a sticker. Otherwise, I'd have heard his shot as I rode up. Sure. Now we'd better be get back to town. Let's go. Don't worry about my mask, Deputy. I'm no outlaw. Who shot you? Some crazy southerner named Long Street Turner. But first, he knifed Hilton McCabe over there. McCabe was the leader of the Northern faction, wasn't he? That's right. Then Turner gunned me when I tried to arrest him. He only creased you. It's just a slight cut. I'll take care of that later. Let's get going after Turner. He's got a date to be guest of honor at a Northern lynching party. As a peace officer, I should think you would want to prevent a lynching. Yeah, you're right. Huh? I'm not thinking straight. I guess that bullet left me a little groggy. In that case, you better ride into town with Tonto in the buckboard. Yeah. Let me take you from the cave to his family? Yes. I'll follow Turner. He doesn't have much of a start. Kimisami. Yes, Tonto? Me not want deputy to hear about me he see murder night before. Where? In general store. Proprietor asked me to go out so he can talk private with deputy. After deputy leave, knife gone too. He also seemed anxious that Turner be lynched. After you get into town, you keep an eye on him. Uh, me meet you at camp. Right. Silver rapidly ate up the distance between pursuer and pursued. that horse and keep your hands up. Silver! Is a hold up? No. Then who are you? A man who came here in the hope of bringing peace between the Southerners and the Northerners. That's a big order. And you didn't make the job any easier by killing Hilton McCabe. 
You've been talking to Deputy Watts. I didn't kill McCabe, mister. Then why did you run away? Because I didn't aim to be lynched for a murder I didn't commit. I know you won't believe me, mister. But I got a hunch that Deputy Watts killed McCabe himself. You taking me into jail? Not just yet. First, we'll go back to your house and see if we can find any evidence to back up your hunch that Deputy Watts killed McCabe. Now get on your horse. Having delivered Hilton McCabe's body to his family, Tonto and Deputy Watts proceeded to the sheriff's office. Oh. You might as well leave the buckboard here and ride your horse when you're ready to go back to camp. I'll uh, tell your masked friend to report to me if he captures Longstreet Turner. Ah. What happened to you? I ran a little trouble out of Longstreet Turner's place. Is Hilton McCabe all right? Dead, knifed in the back. Turner shot me and got away. I'll make the Southerners pay for this if it's the last thing I ever do. You, uh, you aim to handle this alone? I'll tell all the Northerners to come to a mass meeting in my house tonight. And I'll tell them to bring their guns. I'll tell them to get ready to fight another civil war. <laughs> You know, I was going to bore you out for letting Turner get away, but I think everything's going to work out for the best. There's only one thing wrong. What do you mean? Right after Turner got away, a masked man on a white horse called Silver came riding up. Masked man on a white horse? Yeah. And he has an Indian friend named Tonto. That's the Lone Ranger. Yeah. Why is he here? You think he knows what we've been doing? All I know is he took off after Turner. By now, he may have captured him. It won't make any difference. After just chase riles up the other northerners, there's bound to be shooting tonight. And once that happens, a whole army of lone rangers won't be able to keep peace in this town. <laughs> I guess you're right. As long as both factions are busy reaching for each other's throats, they'll pay little mind to your gambling houses. <laughs> <laughs> you better get on back to the sheriff's office. That noise seemed to come from the side alley. You suppose someone's listening? We'll see. You go out the front door, I'll go out the back. Well, no sign of anybody around here. Hey. There's a Lone Ranger's Indian friend. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was in the store earlier today. Uh, he doesn't act as though he'd been up to anything. Still, you feel up to riding? Sure, this is just a scratch. Well, follow him and report back to me what he does. And don't get any bright ideas of your own. What have you say, Proctor? The Lone Ranger and young Turner were already waiting in camp when Tonto arrived. We being followed, Kimazane. By whom? Deputy Watts. He's very quiet, like buffalo and dry leaves. We'll wait and see what he does. If he's an honest law man, he'll show himself and arrest Turner. Him now behind tree off to my left, Kim is up. Yes, I saw some movement out of the corner of my eye. Him not show himself, him spying. I'm not surprised, Tonto. After I captured Turner, we went back to his ranch to read the signs. We found Deputy Watts' footprints in a nearby clump of trees. You think Deputy throw knife that killed Hilton McKee? Yes, Tonto. But we have no proof. We see Deputy talking to storekeeper. Proctor Davis? Turner was telling me what a good friend Proctor Davis is to the Southerners in Mittenville. Him not good friend. Him stir up trouble between honest citizens so they're not work together to clean up town. Why would Proctor Davis be doing this? We may hear Proctor tell Deputy him own gambling halls and cafes in Mittenville. Davis has gone to such great pains to establish a good reputation. It's going to be difficult to convince Turner or anyone else that he's at the root of their dissension. Northerners have mass meeting tonight, then attack Southerners. Where is this meeting going to take place? At home of a man named Jess Chase. The deputy's still watching us, Kimasabe. You circle behind him? No, Taro. After he spies on us, he'll probably report to Proctor Davis. We'll give him something to report to Proctor that'll make his hair stand on end.
having informed all members of the Northern faction of the mass meeting, Jess Chase had returned to his home on the outskirts of town. Wall Street Turner. Why, you murdered Hold it. Get his gun, Tonto. What do you think you'll gain by this? It's not my idea. If I'd have known he was going to bring me here, I'd have never told him where you live. Him still follow us, Kimasami. Who's following us? What are you talking about? He'll probably sneak up on foot and try to overhear our conversation. Open the window so he can hear better. Before we end this discussion, I would like to say it's a pleasure to see a northerner and a southerner sitting side by side without squabbling. Now, the situation as I see it is this. Hilton McCabe was murdered, not by Longstreet Turner here, but by someone who was deliberately trying to stir up trouble between the northerners and the southerners. Tonight at the meeting, Jess, I'd like you to explain to your friends that they must work with the southerners in order to close the gambling halls. Can I count on you to do that? That's just the answer I expected. And you, Longstreet, are you willing to stay here in Jess's house until the meeting gets underway so that you can assure everyone present that the Southerners will cooperate? A very spirited reply. I must caution you, gentlemen, to maintain secrecy in this matter. If word of your intentions should reach the gambling interests, probably an attempt to kill you both would be made before you can address the meeting. How do you feel about this situation, Tonto? You think our job here is finished? Then, in your opinion, we should leave the area at once. I agree wholeheartedly. They can remove their gags now, Tonto. What kind of a crazy act was that you put on? All the foolish nonsense I ever listened to. Come here and look out the window. What, it's Deputy Watts. You mean he was listening the whole time? Well, if he knew Turner was here, why didn't he come in and arrest him like an honest lawman? Perhaps he's not an honest lawman. <laughs> well, he must be. He was recommended for the deputy's job by Proctor Davis. And Proctor wouldn't recommend a crook. What do you think? Well, Proctor's the salt of the earth, but he must have made a mistake just this once. I'm almost sure it was Deputy Watson and I've told him McCabe. You're just trying to crawl out from under by blaming the killing on someone else. Now, listen here. Proctor's right as usual. He always says you Southerners aren't to be trusted. The Northerners, you mean? Why, he only pretends to be friendly to you fellas to keep peace in town. Well, that's exactly what Proctor always told us about them. For some time now, Proctor Davis has deliberately stirred up dissension between the Northerners and the Southerners. But why? Because he's the man in back of all the gambling halls in Mittenville. What? It's hard to believe. I'm sure it must be. However, if each of you will give me his word of honor not to interfere in any way, I think I can present convincing evidence of Proctor's crookedness. I promise. Word of honor. Me hide Silver and Scout Kimisami? Yes, Tato. When Proctor arrives, I want him to think that you and I have already left. As soon as Proctor hears what Deputy Watts has to say, he'll probably head right for this house. Well, what if he does? That's not going to convince me as a crook. Me neither. Do you think you would be convinced if he tries to kill you both? After listening to the deputy's report, Proctor has but one thought in mind, to do away with Jess Chase and Longstreet Turner before they address the mass meeting. Only two horses in front of the house. That means that Jess Chase and young Turner are alone. Like I told you, the Lone Ranger and the Indian figured their jobs were done. Just the same, we're not taking any chances. We'll plug them through the window. Are the horses here? Yeah. Right there. Don't make a move. Tato, bring them out here. I want them to see this tableau. Stand up and reach. Now drop those guns. You too, Proctor. Why didn't you fire again? We want to take them alive. Should be 
very interesting topic. South fight for good of West. A confession from Deputy Watts implicating Proctor Davis in the murder of Hilton McCabe had made hanging a certainty for both criminals. After accompanying the prisoners to the sheriff's office, Jess Chase had hurried to Long Street Turner's home where the Lone Ranger and Tonto were waiting to say goodbye. With the Northerners and the Southerners now working together to clean up the town, it was time for the masked man and his Indian friend to move on. Nice fellow, that masked man. A real southern gentleman. Well, the way I understand it, he's from the north. Nonsense. Nobody knows anything about him, but it's obvious he's not a mule head. He's from the north. Even a yam eater ought to be able to realize that. <laughs> now, what difference does it make? Sure. North or south. There's only one like him in the whole world. He's a lone ranger. Oh, shit! 